everybody down here at the pool park yard going to look for some more parts for our ranger today figured while we're here we'll do a little walk around like we normally do no sense of wasting the trip right let's walk around and look at some stuff Well, it looks like this is the end of the line for these. We saw some of these on the last video. You guys remember the old Monte Carlo? 77 Monte Carlo. I guess they got all they're gonna get off of it. They're bringing them over here. These are headed to the crusher. That is not where that goes. Not at all. Y'all remember this one? This is the one that had the poor 15 all over it. Remember, somebody was actually working on this one and the roof was cut out of it. Yeah, here in a few days, they'll look like these here. Pancakes. Well, this is kind of sad. Look what I just found. Oh, still got good parts on it. What are they thinking? Oh, that is just terrible to see, isn't it? Man, got the OBS in here, right? Yeah, she's flat as a pancake. Dang it. Well, you can't save them all, I guess. Some of them's got to be for parts for the other ones that we are trying to save, right? Got a 1990 Dodge Dakota. I always kind of like these old body styles. And they had V8, some of them. Let's see, did this one? Let's find out. No, V6. I like these seats with the fold down armrest. Those are always nice. It's like somebody threw the tailgate off over here in the, off over here in the water and that thing is in good shape. Probably used it to lay on or something. That's how it is out here in the salvage yard sometimes. Looks like the front bumpers are good shape, just needs a, the new molding. Got a good fender, good door, decent bed. Just needs some body work, a little bit, nothing major. All right, y'all already know, I'm not gonna come to pull apart and I'll give you all the train stuff. Thought this was kind of interesting because it's a really good question when you see something like this. That's pretty gross. Not sure what that is and not sure if I even want to know. <laughs> Boy, somebody really went to town on the old charger here. They chiseled. They chiseled that damn thing right off of there in the whole quarter panel. They did the front inner structure the same way. They must have been fixing a wreck at home. Needed some of that. Huh? That'll do it. Whatever it takes to get the job done, right? tell you what while we're over here looking at dakotas look at this one this was still a nice shiny red truck not wrecked or anything got the v8 in it look at that it was straight all the way around there was nothing wrecked on it you know that's kind of strange when you see them in here 
and they still got really good bodies on them and yet they've been they've been salvaged i mean dang really this was actually still a good looking truck it looked like before it got here not to mention it had a v8 in it dang thought maybe we stay on trucks for a minute why not we got a 93 mazda b series these things are nice man i like these little trucks i hate seeing them in here when they're still good shape you know this is an automatic most of these are stick shifts I mean, they got the old full gun seats in the back y'all remember those how many of those how many y'all had to ride around in the back of one of these or something similar with just the little tiny seats back there oh man it's amazing though that we fit back there as little kids but we never fit back there now that's for sure what's that say One hundred and fifty thousand miles interior's still in good shape the headliner is really nice there is nothing wrong with the headliner in this truck at all we got a little damage up here in the front that's from the fender being kind of pushed back and uh, then people opened the door much like I just did but it was already bent when I got here somebody's opened it really really bad and pushed that fender in so it's gotten more damage since it's been here this one is a little rough it's all banged up down the side here and yeah yeah that's pretty bad it's even got a hole tore in it I tried to open the hood on this one but it's curled over so bad I can't even get my fingers in there so can't look under the hood on this one but you can see it is a little rough still good trucks though let's check out the tailgate not bad a little rough up here still got both the tail lights somebody's already pulled them for you look at that Last time I was out here, I was trying to find a rotor for a Ranger project, and wouldn't you know, I grabbed the wrong one. Uh, these are kind of interesting. They uh, drive out oh, this weird little deal inside of here. I don't know if you can see it coming out from the back side there. All you do is drive that out of there, right? Top and bottom, instead of there being bolts holding the caliper on, this is what holds the caliper on. It's kind of strange, but anyway i should have uh did my homework before uh coming out here because i grabbed the ones that bolt on so a little bit different deal so this is what we're going to do we're going to grab this one instead you see there after you drive those out how this just comes right off of there so throw that on up here out of the way all right walking through here and found this Miata check it out 1990 convertible and the top is still good look at the top on this thing y'all it is still it's in good shape it just needs the window in the rear my son my oldest boy you guys know him as low love life on YouTube just bought one of these same color same everything he says he's gonna put it on his channel before too long uh, his doesn't have any spark okay get the, there we go his doesn't have any spark and uh, he's needing a distributor or whatever these things have <laughs> and I don't even see it on here now I know his has a top I just don't know what shape it's in man he might have to get up here and pick on this thing a little bit well this one's definitely similar unfortunately it's not exactly what we need that's kind of the story of today that's how it goes sometimes out at the old salvage yard don't always find what you need but it's still a good time i think i like coming out here <laughs> these guys this is the company vehicle y'all <laughs> oh my god yeah they use that to drive around the yard and uh, they're the ones that come through here and i set up all the wheels for these uh, cars and trucks to set on in case you guys didn't notice this is what they set everything on these wheels are welded together so everything kind of sits on there somewhat securely <laughs> seems to get the job done anyway 
Got a Nissan hard body here, and if I'm not mistaken, those are the 4x4 fenders. Look, see how they bulge way out? These are great. This is a modification that my daughter wants to make on her Nissan hard body. You guys know her as me, myself, and Darlene. Some of y'all asking what happened to her. She's still around. Hang on. She's going to make a video letting you guys know what she has been up to lately. And uh, it's been a lot. So, anyway, she'll talk to you guys about that over on her channel. But you guys know I cannot pass up a Nissan hard body anytime I see one of these I gotta stop and look at it a quick little walk around yeah you see how originally the the sides don't they just don't bulge out that much and then if you look down the side of it you see up here in the front where the front fenders bulge way out yeah these are the 4x4 version and all you do on the front is you just swap out the fenders with the 4x4 fenders but on the rear you actually have to buy an extra set of 4x4 fenders cut this section out and graft it onto the bedside that way it all matches all the way around unfortunately they don't make whole bedsides with the, the 4x4 bulge as i call it so you have to make it and that is a modification that we do plan on making to her truck in the future this one here was a v6 and it's got those funky little seats in the back just like that old dakota yeah there's your v6 right there stick shift and it's a 4x4 i just noticed that two shifters mazda 6 right here i love these things these are great flip cars we sold one on the channel it had like 230 something thousand miles on it. that thing was awesome it still ran and drove really really good same color and everything i plan on getting me some more of these i like these they're super easy to work on and they flip very well always like this body style the old honda accords i saw it I always thought that was just a good look. I don't know why. That's just me, I guess. These are two doors. I broke the window out, dang it. Hey, those of you that know, remind me, is this the one, is this the era that had the transmission issues on the automatics? I can't remember. This one here is a 1999. Yeah, as I recall, Honda was having like some transmission issues. I don't remember which ones though. But it says a little rollover accident there. Look at that, that got squished yeah i definitely say so that definitely got squished look at that that is crumpled in i hope nobody was sitting in the back of this thing step in here and look at it look at that that roof came down oh it squished the seat and everything yeah check it out this is why you want to take your time drive slow you guys don't get all crazy out there all it takes is one wrong move somebody cut you off man these things go rolling down the highway end over end i swear Got to keep the greasy side down, y'all. That's all I'm saying. a 97 obs chevy i think it's a chevy yeah it says chevy you never know if it's chevy or gmc the tailgate's missing the front end's gone and all that uh anyway this one's had a little little body work that must be one of my old paint jobs i have a soft spot for these obs chevys i really do like them somebody dug the door handle out of it and i do mean they dug it out it's like they did this one the same way look at that Got the F1 Nifty, just about picked clean, look at it. I imagine this one will be heading to the crusher before too long. Looks like the hood is still in good shape though. No, it's not. Or maybe it is. I think it, no, it's bent a little bit. Look at the cap corners on this thing, y'all. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? They're just perfect. The rocker panels are absolutely perfect. <laughs> it's just not fair for it to even be in here, is it? Look at the floors in this thing. Completely solid, man. Nothing, no rot anywhere. Looks like we still got the block. No transmission. Well, that's not good when you got a truck that's basically rust-free. And then you see that's what's going on underneath the hinges of these things. 
I mean, that's a factory defect right there. They do rust between the hinges and the cab. Not cool. Yeah, as for the rest of it, look at that. Another clean cab corner, another perfect rocker panel. Crazy, huh? Looks like we got a box van, minus the box. Look at that. <laughs> Somebody robbed it right off of there. Probably using it as a storage shed or something. They do make handy storage sheds, that's for sure. This one is uh, missing a lot of stuff. It's another bright, shiny red car, you know, that just looks like there's just nothing wrong with it. I mean, we've got parts missing, obviously, but it wasn't wrecked or anything. It just looked too, too nice to be in here. I think like this one's got to be a 95 or newer. That's when they changed the dash to the more rounded style door panels as well they changed all that in 95 i do believe a little sleeker style i think i like these a lot better than the the 94 and under where everything was a little more squared off another fine example of a rust free vehicle look at that you know how they normally rust around in this area and over the wheel wells especially behind the wheel wells nothing no rust at all must have had some good interior because they sure robbed all of it. Sold F 150's got a damn good bed on it. Look at this. It's nice and straight. The other side looks just as good. No rust at all. Look at that cab corner. Another nice cab corner over there. No rust. No tailgate either, but look at this side. The same. Got the dual tanks. Another good cab corner over here. Got a dent in it, but no rust still. Make an attempt to pull in this bed loose so that we could get the filler hose for the fuel tank. His isn't any good. These things are kind of pricey. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right loose. Did you see that? I barely put any effort in it. I'm really surprised. That's half of them so far. These things are notorious for having too much Loctite on them from the factory. Then you have to get underneath there and heat them up with a torch, try to melt all the Loctite out. So far, so good on there. Here we go, this is the last one, let's see. No, uh, there's always one. Uh, yep, see, this one ain't covered. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, it's good. socket set that I bring to the salvage yard with me. This thing works pretty good. So I've had some people in the comment section ask me what kind of tools do I take with me to the salvage yard. Well, let's show you. I've got everything condensed down pretty good to these, just these two bags here. I've got everything streamlined down pretty good at this point. And uh, we still take a lot of stuff. So uh, I take me a light. This was sent to me by a subscriber. I take this with me, man. This thing works really good. Get up in there. You never know if you're up under a dash or something, even though it's daylight out. You guys know how it is. So I uh, got my Milwaukee's, man. Also sent to me by a subscriber. Those things are awesome. Uh, we got one for screws and things like that. And then we've got this one over here, more of an impact for nuts and bolts. Those things are a lifesaver. I don't like taking these out there, but I'm getting braver, y'all. I did take them on the last try, but hey, man, as long as I keep everything rounded up in my bag, I'm not too worried about it, but I, I am scared to death of leaving those behind. Uh, in here, we've got all kinds of sockets, man. Check it out. So yeah, in here, I got all my uh, sockets and ratchets. I got me a big break over. I've got half-inch drive, 
I know we've got three eighths drive as well. Got all my extensions, half inch, half inch extensions, three eighths extensions. We got it all in here. Big sockets, little sockets. We've got it all. I think I've got all the way up from all the way to like 26 or 27 on these uh, millimeter and then all the way down to like 10 millimeter, I believe is the sockets that we have in there. So this one over here, we got all kinds of stuff in, man. I got some some wipes to keep the hands clean when they get all greasy. I brought some towels, uh, a work light. You know, all of this stuff was sent to me by subscribers. You guys have been a lifesaver, man. Uh, here's some sockets. This is just a cheap little socket set. It's uh, something you get from Harbor Freight. And what it is, it's all my small stuff. You know, I got a lot of my little quarter inch drive stuff, you know, that goes way down. I mean, look how tiny these things are, you know. And so this takes care of everything that all of this stuff doesn't take care of and uh, comes in really handy. So there's that. Since it's just the little tiny stuff, you know, the little quarter inch stuff, you could tend to get away with cheaper stuff. I and mean, we all like those high dollar sockets, you know, the snap-ons, the craftsmen's, or what have you. And uh, when it comes to the little tiny stuff, you, you really don't need that because they don't see a lot of abuse. So all that little quarter inch stuff, man, you could get away with these little cheap sets all day long. And then when it comes to the big boy stuff, you know, you want nicer things like, look at here, man, we got ourselves a craftsman, stuff like that. See what else we got in here. This is my torque set, man. When it comes to torques, you might want to spend a few bucks because I don't know if the cheap ones, I use them all the time too, don't get me wrong, but they'll snap on you. Hell, even these snap on me all the time, especially when you're trying to take those truck beds off, the Ford truck beds that have the, the big torques on them, you know? You, uh, you need a good set because they're notorious for snapping and you need to be able to have that guarantee, man. I swap these out all the time. Anytime I snap one off, all I gotta do is uh, hit up the tool guy and he'll give me a new one for life. And I'll tell you what, that guarantee is worth paying the extra money for because I would break these regularly when I worked back in the body shop. Man, we got some more wipes in there, also sent to me by a subscriber. And got the, B the BFH, you all know what that is, man. We gotta have that. And then also, I'll keep, keep me a big old giant crescent wrench in there. That comes in handy. And I got a little smaller one too. And then the rest will be wrenches, pliers, assortment of pliers, you know, everything from channel lock pliers. Got your regular pliers. Got your cutting pliers, look at there. We can cut wires and things with it. Got your needle nose pliers. Some more wire cutters here, see? Over on this side, got screwdrivers, trim tools. You'll want your screwdriver, you know, you need a regular screwdriver and then you'll need a Phillips screwdriver as well. And I like to go big and little. A big regular, a smaller regular, a big Phillips, a smaller Phillips. See how we got two different Phillips going on here, a bigger one and a smaller one. Same thing with the regular flathead. We want, you know, a bigger one and then a smaller one. So, you want longer ones and shorter ones. They're just an assortment, man. We got trim tool, and here's another screwdriver. Where's my trim tool? I got a trim tool in here somewhere if I didn't lose it. Picks, they, these are really good for getting plugs and things undone. I got me a few of those in there. And then we got some more smaller extensions for all of our quarter inch sockets that I showed you a minute ago in that set. And then, of course, a nice little quarter inch ratchet. And there you go. Where's my trim tool? There's my trim tool. Yeah, I showed you that already. Whew, that was a close one, man. I thought I lost my trim tool. I have lost a trim tool at the pull of parts, and I'll never forget it, man. I'll never, I'll just, I'll never get over it. That was my favorite trim tool, and it's gone forever. I went back for it. I went back for it, and it was, it was already gone. Yeah, I'll never get over that one. I had that thing for years, and it kind of had some sentimental value, and like a bonehead, I just left it sitting up on the cowling of a uh, Suburban or something, I don't even remember really. And I went back and it was gone already. So that's pretty much what I take out there most of the time. That and cameras and battery packs and all, all of that. So we're kind of loaded down anytime we go out there, but it's all right. I usually have a helper with me, you know, Mrs. Beard, she comes out there with me and she carries a backpack with all the batteries and camera stuff in it. And then I carry all the tools. 
So, big thank you to her for that, you guys. Leave her a comment, man. Let her know she's doing a good job out there with that camera work. I think she's doing fine. And uh, it is really helpful because I've only got so many hands. When you're at the salvage yard trying to carry stuff around, you know, tools and then parts and then everything, it's like you got to have a wheelbarrow in each hand. And believe it or not, it's actually kind of fun hanging out with the with the missus out at the old salvage yard. And uh, it's kind of cool having a wife that likes to go to the salvage yard till it gets hot and that's it, she's done. Loosen off the filler neck here. Should be able to kind of scoot the bed over and dig that hose out of there. That's all we're needing. These are hard to find. Every time I find a truck, this part is missing every time. Mr. Bow. So this is what we're after right here. Let me get it off of the tent. There we go. Yeah, these things are expensive, man. They're almost a hundred dollars at AutoZone. Sure don't see very many of these anymore. Got the Ford Econoline van. This one's still got a motor in it. And mostly complete as far as the body goes. Of course, we're missing. You know, the normal headlights, grill, stuff like that, but the panels are all there. And they're decent. They really are. They're not all beat up, they're not wrecked up. Looks like down here we got a little bit of surface rust. No holes. I don't see a single hole in it anywhere. That's a really long rocker panel. Looks like we may have some down toward the end of it down there. Yeah, back here, in front of the wheel well. Got a little bit. Look what we found inside the van. Haha, <laughs> score. Got a piece missing out of it right there, it looks like. A couple pieces, actually, but that'd be some good wall art, at least. Of course, no van would be complete without the shag carpet, right? Even got custom wood grain paneling on the ceiling. What more do you want? And please tell me those are speaker holes, man. Look at this. This van was rocking in more ways than one. Y'all know it was. I like these door panels. I guarantee you those would clean up really nice. And there's nothing really wrong with them either. At least we got a little split there, but still cool. There we got the engine about to fall out because the transmission's not in there no more. Now check out this cup holder. That's cool. Look at that. Nice. Stick with the vans for a minute. Why not? Check it out. This one here had like house insulation in it. You can tell it like had wall studs and everything. So this thing had some some kind of interior in it. Maybe they was living in it. I don't know. Another one with the transmission missing. He like a big old captain's chair. I bet the thing was comfortable in its day. I miss these old paint schemes, man. I always liked that. I thought that looked cool. Kind of a 90s thing, I think. What is that back there? It's like a little partition or some sorts back there in the back. Interesting. This thing has all the plastic and everything in it that you would need to do kind of a conversion type of deal, you know? That is definitely one way to get the handle out or whatever. I guess they needed to access the rod to get in, I don't know. Yeah, this one's got all the rear air everything, man. Pretty cool. Back in its day, man, this thing was awesome. Not really sure what happened here, but it looks like they had a spray rig in the back. Look, there's the hose reel with the hose all rolled up. <laughs> it's melted. I, I don't know what happened, ain't no telling. Boys, 
boys ain't playing, man. They're getting it done today. Man, there's lots of vans out here today, and they're <laughs> they're rust free, dude. I don't see any rust. This one's got the ground effects on it. Cool, cool. Remember that? All the way down. Look at that. Get the, the full running boards. These are really cool. This is what the van looked like that I grew up with as a kid. It was uh, it was the same color too, gray. Somebody took the window out. Well, I'll be down. Looks like they robbed all the interior out of this one too. But look at this headliner. It's still there and it's still good. I just can't believe how good a shape these running boards are. Full ground effect kit on this one and it's all good. It's not even busted all the hell or nothing. This one's got the cool windows that open up on the sides. Look at that, both of them do that. I wonder if the one that they robbed over on the other side did that as well. I bet it did. Maybe, I don't know. Well, that's a bummer right there. I wonder if they did that with the trailer. Man, that's it. I'm just sticking with vans today. Why not? Look at this, man. 1987 Dodge Ram van. Look at this. It's got all kinds of windows on it here. Look at the custom wood grain. Pretty sweet. You can see right here under where the keyhole. Look at that. That's what it's supposed to look like. Nice and shiny. Oh, I'm not sure what happened to that guy. What on earth? That's strange. I guess that's the all the adhesive left behind or something. I don't know. That's really weird. Let's check out what we got in here. What we got, man? 360? 318? I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you think? Hey, we still got the captain seats in here. Look at that. There's one there. There's one here. Look at the ceiling. Isn't that cool? This thing goes on for a mile. I swear it's so long. Not sure what was up with all the pegboard. I guess maybe they was using it as some kind of a a work truck I guess it's got some shelves and what have you but that right there that's something else let's get a shot from up here check it out well we're gonna check out the dash because why not we're already in here somebody done took the cover glove box cover had the wood grain on the dash and I don't know if it was on the door panels or not they're missing I do like these door panels though <laughs> look at that custom we got an F-150 over here and I just had to show y'all the color combination on that because you don't see that all the time. And I do like that. I like exactly the way this thing looks, man. That is a good color, color combination right there with the pinstripe. I do dig that. That was a beautiful truck in its day, I guarantee you. Well, they're about to close, man. I better get up here to the front. We're not gonna get our parts. Got a big empty spot over here. This is where they put all the really old cars and they're all gone. Not exactly sure what year this is. Something from the 60s, I do believe, maybe early 70s. Not really sure. What do we got in there, man? We got a big old big block, it looks like. Awesome. Custom cab. Man, if this ain't could tell some stories, you know they worked the hell out of it over the years. There's just no doubt about it. Still got the big old bed on it. I guarantee you, you can still get some work out of this old girl. No problem. Took that roof so god wait look at the roof on this thing oh my god So we made it back to the house. I'm gonna get those parts installed. We got a bunch of rain moving in, it looks like. So I don't know, I may have to do that tomorrow. Video's getting kind of long. I hope you guys enjoyed your salvage yard video. Uh, I told y'all I was gonna do some more of those. Anytime I go to the salvage yard, I might as well bring the camera along, bring you guys along, let y'all see. Uh, the, the inventory's always changing, so you'll always get to see different cars. And it's kind of cool seeing just seeing them in that environment, you know, not everybody gets to go to salvage yards. I didn't even think about it like that, man. I get people comment all the time, like, man, I really appreciate you showing us the salvage yard, man. I don't get to go anymore, or they don't have yards in my area that will allow you to walk through them. You know, they, they pull the parts for you. So uh, not a lot of this whole pull apart, you know, pick your own part kind of a thing going on out there anymore. It's kind of a dying thing. So uh, I didn't realize that there would be so much interest in it. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep doing it. Why not? 
So anyway, I'm gonna get on out of here. I appreciate everybody hanging out. Please like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I do appreciate everybody watching. Uh, don't forget the Instagram and the Facebook, you guys. That way uh, you'll get a notification from me in case you don't get one from YouTube. But anyway, I will see you guys next time.